Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the garden. Yes, it's an evening time now. It is seven o'clock, and I'm in that kind of routine now where I've been leaving the polytunnel window open door, and I have to come up on an even just in case and shut it. So I thought I'd bring you along for a little tour of the garden. There you go. Look, pigeons sit on marks. Collie on Brussels sprouts there. So, still just lying there. We have new neighbours on the far side of me wall. Said hello to the deer. So, here we go. You will notice as we're approaching the garden that I've got the gate up. Look at the, not the gate, the fence. Look at that man. And keen eyes will notice it kind of wobbles a bit, but hey, do you mean it was the old fence? And yeah, it seemed to go up okay. But the one thing I have noticed, mind you, and I've used the same fence, nothing's been thrown away. I added, I'm about two foot short. Well, I don't know, I don't see how that's happened, because I haven't like, I don't know, but, so I'm gonna have to get another post and make like a little shunt on that side. But you're not here to see that, you're here to see the garden. So, yes, everything's almost to the point where we're nearly ready for the big, the big plant out, or not the big plant out, but the, you know, we're ready, it's just waiting. I'll show you, quickly show you in the polytunnel, because there's things since the last time that's been going on. So, you've seen the, the garlic, you've seen all this kind of stuff, but we have some new additions, I'm not sure where, cauliflowers pricked out. These are the, the patch where I got, you know, the 20, so I've got the cauliflower, the Copenhagen cabbage, the kale, and winter king. Now I know it's winter king and it probably, I've never grown it before, but I'm just gonna try and get leaves before, you know, as quickly as I can. I'm not bothered getting into a big cabbage. And I'll try and grow them a little bit later in the season, I suppose, when they, when they grow. That seed, I brought them seeds up, they look all right. And there's another flush of lettuce as well to go. So both them are lettuces, sweet peas, Sweet peas are coming on. I'm not good of a tour guide, aren't I? Those are me pea shoots to cut. Probably, I'm, I think in about a week's time. I think, something like that, maybe half a week. So yes, these are going. I'm also using, look at that, I'm using the Charlie Dowden cells. Now you've got to be on the ball with these things, you know what I mean? So these are me salads as well, different salads. And them salads are looking nice. now. I'm not saying it might not be that long before I plant them out. A little bit bigger, under fleece, might get them out. That's freckles, and this was the Paris Cos. That is just Durham early cabbage as well. And there's all me, that's actually all spares. So, okay, in the garden there. The sprouting broccoli is eventually coming into its own. And we're going to start now, like, in anger, harvesting it. So I can officially say, I've getting broccoli, sprouting broccoli over the finish line. There's one, there's one good one. So what we got? Well, I came up first thing this morning and I tidied some beds and that's the beauty of raised beds. Do you know what I mean? Just do what you want. So I did this bed, I did this bed, that bed, and that, that bed there. Now that bed is, gonna be my main salad bed. That's what I'm gonna plant and just pick and come hopefully all the time. Now, I've just noticed well, that might have been me, but it's hard to see maybe with the light. That bed there, this is on in honor of Steve green side up because over this weekend or last weekend, whenever you're watching this, he's been wheelbarrowing probably loads of compost into some raised beds. Now I did this one, right? And I brushed it in the end, because I know Steve would not have been, you know what I mean, just to get them filled and get them, there was that much work for him. But in honor of him, I filled this one up, three 
three barrelfuls of great compost. I'm chuffed to bits with it, and then smoothed it, and I just brushed it for that billiard table look. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that there uh, job wasn't too hard for you there, Stephen, sir. So we have kale along that side, which I'll be still picking and using. I'll be cropping. I'll probably be keeping it because it looks lovely at the moment, mind you, but I, I'll just keep on cutting it and hopefully keep a rain on it. I've got lots of beds spare, which will be, I'm going to put some marsh to in, some, you know, the brassicas and everything like that. I've still got things to constantly sow in there now. Fruit, if you remember, got rid of the Victoria plum tree and them raspberries that were white ones that were over there so i have now the rhubarb these raspberries and these raspberries they're on the final written warning if they don't come this year very good there was lots of green and lots of, but there wasn't very much fruit and it wasn't very nice if i'm honest do you know what i mean i was it's was a bit like i don't know it wasn't the taste i was expecting anyways so they're on the final one i don't know how i'm going to get rid of them but you know they're there this bed has got, this is last year's beetroot. Now I've got another set of it like that, but the leaves look lush, really lovely. So what I'm gonna do is just cut and use the leaves, probably not the beetroot, but use the leaves. A volunteer rocket there, which we're picking all the time. And then we've got up there some more of the, I think that's actually spinach, perpetual spinach there as well. So there is things now, we're kind of starting to like harvest you know and it's getting close to the kind of exciting time we've got in this bed now I, I think these are just spring onions that died back and have come again so I'll certainly cut the tops off and keep them savoy cabbages but they're not I think they're savoy cabbages but they're not heartening up but we're actually using them quicker than you know what I mean? I'll, I'll be getting a, a one tomorrow and so they'll be quickly gone by the time I come round to it. Now I did have in here Durham early cabbages as well and I've, I don't know if I've got a photograph or not, but everyone went to seed. Do you know what I mean? So it was like, ah, bloody hell. So I didn't, I didn't get them through the finishing line. I had in this bed, I had cauliflower. Now there was about 15 plants there and I probably could. You know, it was like winter time as well, but I probably got about, say, five or six, you know, like to the plate. So that wasn't a great, I mean, it's still, you know what I mean? Winter's a, a difficult time to grow. Again, there's um, the luscious colour. You can just tell they're fresh and ripe that they pick, so I'll be picking some of them. This is going to be my parsnip bed. I'll put another few layers of compost on. That will be my parsnip bed. Garlic inside and outside. I've give this a nice good dousing with blood fish and bone and I'll probably do one more feed before the bulb starts to come and then I'll stop feeding them. They seem all right, but for me it's like, will they have white rot? And will the, you know, will there be decent sized bulbs? We will, we, everyone I see just pulls out these lovely bulbs. It, it, for me it seems like it's a fight and it's a struggle. Lovely volunteer, char there. Look at that, char there, perfect volunteer. I'll just scoot you back round here because I forgot to mention it. Look at this. Volunteer lettuce there, which is absolutely lovely. Do you know what I mean? I should just cut that now and take it home because any, any later and it might just go. So it looks like with me, I'm really good at the volunteer garden part of it. Look at this as well. When I was digging out the compost, right, that's me compost. Look at that, man. Bloody nature's gold. There. Some potatoes. They're better than the ones <laughs> I put in the bloody tubs and I had all the compost and the good feed and everything just lying in there. So they'll be going home tomorrow and I'll... I don't want to get my hands dirty now. No, no. Still piling up this bed. Still going on strong, lots of stuff going in there. This is probably going to be, this is the big nasty bed. This is probably going to be tomatoes again. I've got some, I think they're called tomade. Tomade tomatoes, is that how you? 
and I might put them in, you know, four or five. They're not the uh, determinate ones, they're indeterminate. So, but we'll see. I got a great crop, you know, last time. That's why there was raspberries over there on the final warning. Because it's a good wall for stro uh, tomatoes. These now are my strawberries, and this will be the last year, three years, and then I'm going to take them all out and get another set from the shop. I'm not taking any like little off cuttings or anything like that. They're all coming out, and to be honest, it needs it now. Look at this, like ones are just like. Although you put this membrane down to stop the weeds, seeds get in, and it's just. But I'll be going to the same place because. You get them and they're lovely, to be honest, and it's four different varieties and it's the fruit at four different times as well. So what else? I'll just show you this rhubarb because there was two crowns in there, but the, the second one's coming there now, but this first one just seems, you know, thank God. And I'm just can't wait for the, the big lad to get his crumble. <laughs> fresh crumble, like fresh rhubarb. Oh, man. So I think that's it. I'm Like I say, I'm on top of everything and and i even you know i brushed you know when i was doing like see the beds i even bloody swept the paths man do you know what i mean <laughs> so when you've got time to sweep the paths you're all right so what about i've come up to shut this like i say it's been cooking hot today everyone's been flocking down to whitburn on the coast because of like the weather the the cars to get the shops, it's just, everyone's coming in, there's traffic jams and everything. So, yes, all looking good. I'll shut this up and I'll say goodbye. Look after yourselves, take good care.